All right, so here are the insoles for the Jordans that insoles for the custom Jordans I have up here. Look at those insoles, man. That's going to look dough. Anywho, but um, these turned out to be a really nice, turned out to be like a very good idea. I mean, not trying to toot my own horn here, but uh, um, the leather really makes it look very premium, um, very premium. And with the stitching all along there, it looks like a premium pirate looking thing. And then the X. That I stitched on and I glued it down in case it would rip or anything like that. And then I did the same thing to all the little stitches on the outside in case one of them pops. But I'm going to need to go back over this with a small amount of go-to glue uh, from Loctite. And, you know, then I'll show you if I do that. And I'll just have to let it sit for 30 minutes. And, all right. So I did glue it and that's how it looks. So... Just gonna let it dry and then pop it in the shoe, and you'll see it in my next video, which is gonna be the final, um, if ending video or whatever to um, my restoration, uh, or restoration slash custom customization of these Jordan ones that I got from my brother. Um, that's probably actually, actually that's actually gonna be all the Jordans I'm probably gonna get from him since he wasn't really a sneakerhead or anything like that. But anyway, um. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and if this gets more than 100 views, or 50, I don't know, um, I'll burn a pair of Beats mixers and post a video, and, you know, actually, I might, I might do that anyway, but, anyway, um, call it a day, and, alright, thanks for watching.